Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow 7 Gaming. We're playing a little Battletech Extended um, 3025. It happens to be, I don't know, closer to 3055 at this point. It's probably 3051, I think, maybe, maybe 3052. Um, but we are continuing on kind of sort of with our save. If you recall the last episode, we, we declared it a loss for Morningstar's Marauders. Um, however, uh, Morningstar did survive, and Morningstar was able to get back to Lao space with the Argo, at which point um, the government relieved him of the Argo, or her, of the Argo, paid her off, sent her off for a nice retirement, and uh, took the ship, has upgraded a little bit, um, quite a bit, but not completely, um, and then pulled one of their own special operative units out. And in the meantime, by the way, I figured out how to get to the screen. I told you somewhere back that I knew there was a way to do this, and I just couldn't figure it out. Um, if you go into your standard equipping section, just click View, uh, you can then take a look from a few different things, and it will let you change your patterns and everything from there as well, so you can kind of play with your paint schemes if you like. Um, I kind of like... Uh, I think I kind of like number one. Yeah, I think we're sticking with it. So, let's get out of here. We'll look at the max here in a second. Let's, um, finances wise. Well, let me tell you our story. Let me tell you the story first. This is our story. <laughs> so, we are a special, a special unit of the military. We were in the process of a long term uh, infiltration, if you will, um, hey. of Comstar. And so what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of Comstar Alkalites within the party. Now, this is just pure dumb luck. Essentially, what happened was I started flying back to Laos space and I would stop every few systems and I would take a look to see who there was to hire. And I'd take a look at the markets to see what I wanted to buy, um, which reminds me, um, essentially, the mechs I have, the mechs were purchased mostly black market. I gave ourselves black market access when I flipped us over to the to the new group. Right. Um, most of them. Uh, most of the mechs, everything except, um, I think Panther 10K, which I actually went in and added in the save. Um, everything else I've purchased along the trip, up and back. In fact, we just got that crab here on the planet we just arrived at just now through the black market. So we haven't done any super specialization. The mechs are mostly as they are. I've bought a little bit of equipment. I've upgraded a few weapons, but we haven't done anything super serious yet. But anyway, so this is our unit right here. This is the this is our, our deep insertion unit, such as it is. Um, our commander um, is down here is Tanith, and that makes this Tanith's first and only. And uh, you can see... Um, we haven't changed any of this stuff. This is all the same as it was for Morningstar. It just wasn't worth trying to figure out. So Lao Ancestry, Noble Family, Mercenary, Lost in Space, all that sort of good stuff. The rest of our party. Uh, we've got Alien up here. Um, you can see there, Mech Pilot, Davian Poor, Comstar Acolyte, Athletic, Tech, and Comstar. So, um, yeah, not too bad. Uh, and then we've got Comanche here. Service record, uh, Capellan, Inner Sphere, Technician, one of the very few that doesn't have a lot of stuff going on, but he is still uh, still a technician. I thought it'd be nice to have, you know, slightly different people from, from various walk. backgrounds. If we have to infiltrate, you know, you got to be able to pull these people in. Uh, then we got Crunch, also Comstar, um, and a technician. We've got Crusher. Uh, criminal, Merchant, Periphery, Spacer, every kind of, you know... Um, black bag kind of unit needs this type of guy you know they can disappear into the underworld and get you the things you want and this is uh this type of character is why i decided we should have access to the black market right because because you know that's the type of group we are we should be able to infiltrate that sort of stuff and you can see this is our second in command right here crusher is uh he was a periphery commoner he's a gang enforcer growing up and smuggler uh merchant spacer and was recruited by us into the into the group um, and so this is our, this is our second, I think, yeah, I don't remember if he's second in command or not, but originally when I hired him, that was the plan. We might've found an officer since then. I don't remember. You, um, we got Jet here, Mech, Inner Sphere, and just Leaguer, nothing fancy there. Um, Kevlar, Kevlar, um, uh, Dependable, Capellan, Inner Sphere, Comstar again, and another technician. Like I said, we got a bunch of them. So I thought that made a pretty good story. We've got Punchy here. Um, Punchy became drunk on the way back, actually. Uh, we had a still, we moved it to the kitchen, and he started drinking a little too much. We had some problems, um, but he is dependable, um, as you can see there. Um, so athletic, drunk, spacer, Arigian, 
uh, merchant, technician, dependable, periphery, mech pilot, right? When you get into these types of units, you need guys with a lot of skills, guys with some backgrounds, right? He traveled as an independent trader for a while, right? So this gets us some connections that we may not otherwise have. Commander. We've got Shank here. Um, nobility, Canopium, Periphery, Comstar, and Technician. We've got Solitaire, uh, Spacer, Merchant, Torian, Periphery, and Technician. Uh, we already looked at Tanith. Oh, Taskmaster. I think this is who we decided. I decided it was my second in command right here because he was an officer. So Military, Periphery, Criminal, Nobility, Spacer, Torian, Officer, and Merchant. But again, also a Gang Enforcer um, and also an Officer. So maybe they came in together. Maybe that's our story, right? We, we picked up Taskmaster and him at the same time, um, brought them in, brought their little cell in, um, and there we go. So that is our little group as we speak. Now, we've got a little bit of money. Um, I just didn't want to have to fight with the money as we do this. The, the goal of the save from here on out is not the money, not to, not to save a, a mech core. We managed to do that. Um, the goal here is just to have fun fighting the clans and not have to worry about going broke at every turn. So, um, you know, on our way out the door from Comstar, we just transferred a few C bills into the little bank account um, and took it with us um, as part of our exfil, right? You got you to gotta take a little bit. You know, we had to adapt and overcome and, 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 and change directions very quickly. Um, and, and that's what happened uh, mech bay wise. Now, again, we've just been buying mechs that I've been finding. So this is not necessarily the ideal. You can see we don't have anything huge. 85 tonners. Um, are it. I did find some atlases, but everything I found was old technology, and we already know that an AC-20 is not going to cut it for us. Um, we need something with some range. And you can see here, I did actually put a rangefinder triple plus on this one. Um, Endosteel, uh, SLDFER PPCs on a large pulse laser, so we can reach out and touch somebody with that one. Uh, we got a longbow here, LRM-20s, um, and in fact, I forgot we might have to fix that real fast before we jump into a mission. I'm pretty sure I bought some better LRM-20s. Yes. To replace that with. Um, this also at one point had uh, maybe a couple medium lasers on it or something. Oh, two, two LRM-5s and a couple medium lasers. I've taken those off so that I could put ECM on it. <laughs> so he can sit back there in the back and lob missiles in. Now, he has very little armor. Um, I did also take off three regular heat sinks and add two double heat sinks, but yeah, which gave us one ton for more armor. Um, but yeah, it's it's not good as you can see. He needs to stay. It's a good thing he's got this ECM because he's in trouble. If somebody gets into that bubble with him, it's all over. Um, so we'll we'll have to see how that goes. Um, but let's go ahead and confirm that. It's going to take five days to swap those LRM20s out. I'll get it in the um, we have an awesome. Uh, I originally hung on to the first awesome that we had because it was still in good shape and I like awesomes, but it was the single PPC and an LRM 15 maybe on it. Um, we found this one towards the end of the trip back uh, and you can see it's got a couple ER PPCs, some streaks, some medium pulses. Um, we probably don't need the streaks. Um, in fact, we can take a look at that right now. I haven't looked to see if it's got armor on it or anything because we did just recently get it. Um, I'm going to I'm going to take off the streaks um, just well, it's ammo that's not going to explode on me and it's going to give me a little bit more armor. Um, yeah, there we go. That maxes out our armor. We could conceivably. If we find another medium pulse, we could take the small pulse off. Um, add a medium pulse onto the head and take off the what? 0.13 armor, whatever we need to do to make that swap. Uh, oh, actually, it's probably an extra 1.13, right? That one weighs one and it's probably weighs two. Two. OK, well, we, we have to think about it then as we go. But for now, um, I think that will be fine. Um, I'll let you know when that's done. We got a victor from the actual, uh, well, I'm thinking about it. Let me show you our reputation and we'll come back to this. I flew all the way back to Laos and used the Lao company stores, um, so to speak. I gave us a 100 that allied us to them. Um, I went ahead and essentially everybody I made minus 20. And then I gave us access to the um, black market. Um, not everything shows up on that screen. So you see a few that are minus 10. You have to click the show others and in the thing. And I just didn't feel like dealing with it. So there's a, the, the, the smaller, the minor houses, we'll say, um, we haven't touched, but they're all roughly about the same. So we're liked by one group. Everybody else more or less dislikes us. Uh, and you can see there are some enemies in here. Um, 
because of this, right? So is what it is. Even though our faction's not bad, once we allied, it made these enemies. And, and we're okay with that. All right, back to our mech bay real fast. Um, so uh, anyway, so we bought this from the company store. Um, and you see I added a rangefinder to it as well. It's got the Gauss rifles to the AC-20, a couple medium pulses. You know, not a lot of firepower, but it's reasonably quick. It can jump, and it has a Gauss rifle. So again, we'll see how this goes. Um, Zeus 5T, um, Artemis LRM-15, a couple medium lasers, but also... Um, Star League Defense Force ERPPC and Large Laser. And so we'll kind of see how that goes. We could potentially take off a medium laser or two if we needed to. Um, for the moment, we'll leave it as it is. Uh, this is the first thing I bought, actually, um, just a couple jumps away um, from here, to be honest, um, on the way back in. And we have upgraded the AC-5 to an AC triple plus, AC-5 triple plus. It also has the Star League Defense Force ERPPCs on it, ferrofibrous. I've added a range finder on it as well, and also gave it a targeting system for energy. So we'll get plus three accuracy with those PPCs, which I think should work pretty good. The crab we just bought, you guys have already seen. Well, we haven't talked about what's on it. Ferrofibrous, you can see, double heat sinks, um, large laser, um, ER, um, Star League Defense Force ER large lasers. We've got a Vindicator 3 all. 3L with medium pulse, uh, ERPPC. Uh, I was thinking more or less just as a scout for this in the Panther, actually. Um, ERPPC on it as well. So, you know, they can run around. They've got some PPCs so they can shoot. He does have an Artemis 4 SRM4. So if something gets close, I guess he could shoot it. Uh, and then I got a Raven because we found one and because it also has ECM. And uh, initially, um, you know, I thought this would... This may be our primary scout right here with that, so we can run him around. He does just have medium lasers but he ha and an SRM-6, but he does have a tag. Um, so we could we could tag or uh, narc some people if we needed to, but essentially he's not there to shoot anything. If he goes out, he's there just to spot things and light things up for that longbow. Um, that's essentially all we want him to do. So do that. Let's, let's wait um, a couple days here kick that longbow over, and then we'll see if there's any missions here. This is a half skull system, um, more or less back where we were. Um, we can take a look at the star map real fast before we dive in. I did obviously change the colors and change the logo to the Tanith first and only. Um, we are right up here. This was more or less on the edge when we came up, um, but you can see after a short period, um, most of the time we were gone, things had actually calmed down. Um, and then there was the big leap forward. Um, uh, shortly after we left, the, the Rassel Hog lady, uh, whose name I forget, crashed her ship into the clan ship, killing the war leader, um, and that caused the long pause. But um, now things have heated back up. We've got a couple more um, clans in the whole mix, and we just kind of got swallowed up in there. So we're a little bit deep in, but we are in a half skull uh, system. So let us see if there's a mission for us to run. And uh, we'll see if we can survive with this. Uh, oh, I guess I can show you our, the Argo, too. We talked briefly about it. Um, it's not complete, but I did take care of the basic stuff there. Um, our drop size, we left the same. I did add one more mech control. I no, we left that. So we can control six. We could drop a seventh AI pilot if we want. I did get an extra 100 tons on the drop tonnage here. We'd have to, I think, finish this to get this one. And I'm fine with this. 500 tons is, is enough for us at the moment. Um, mech bays, we're still just running the two mech bays, but I did get a couple of the repair refit. Um, I did add a recreation, and I did get us a couple bays there. And you know what? As long as we're here, let's go ahead and get us a library. Sure All right, we need to be able to research our, our stuff there. All right. Contracts. Let's see what we got going on here after, after a lot of talking. Um, scramble. Look at this. They're even for us. I like that. We got three missions here, potentially, um, although two of them are one skull. Um, we're making grounds dislodging the clanners on Leskovic. We could use some assistance. Satellite surveillance has caught some clanner reinforcements. Eliminate the clanner units and you'll be compensated. Just a battle in the lowlands. Um, I'm going to save the game really quick. <laughs> Ready to begin. There we go. Took a touch over 400 days for us to do the fly in and out. Uh, so we have uh, 315 days left. Um, let's come back down here, negotiate. Um, I, we've got money, so there's just really no legitimate way we're going to get salvaged, though. But we'll we'll go for one in the hopes that we can get some. So um, I assume we may as well just start with our battle master, our longbow, our awesome. And a victor? 
Um, we're probably... Let's see, the Zeus has the... The Victor has the one Gauss. I'm going to go with the Marauder instead. We're going to put that in there. And then I'm going to throw a Raven down here. It might die quickly. Um, that's entirely possible. And we'll go ahead and... Let's see, what, what speed does my Raven move at? Movement... 165. 120... 120. 140. Well, the crab is faster than those two. This might be a mistake. We'll put the crab in there. Uh, we're at 409 tons. Apparently we're missing a ton somewhere. Uh, now we need some pilots. Um, I'm If they had stuff already, um, apparently I missed one on uh, solitaire. We'll have to fix that. Um, if they had stuff already, I just kind of built on it. Everybody's more or less eights. There's a few nines in there. I made I made us nines. I'm going to put us in the longbow because um, we have the, the tactics for it um, is the idea. Um, we'll take... Uh, I don't think it really matters all that much. Let's take Crusher. We'll put him in a Marauder. Um, who has... I, I don't remember all the... Let's see. We don't want... I want somebody who can dump heat. There we go. Is it just Taskmaster? Is he really the only one I took that one? No, we got Alien. Let's put Alien in the awesome, actually. We might want to dump some heat there. And and from here on, we'll just we'll put there. Uh, and maybe somebody with target lock. Sensor lock we'll put in the Raven. And... Um, we'll put Jet into the Crab. And we'll deploy. 409 tons for a half skull difficulty. <laughs> uh, we'll see how this goes. I was kind of thinking two assaults, two heavies and two mediums was kind of what I wanted to drop with. But all of our assaults and heavies are all, I mean, we just ended up kind of that 75 to 85 ton range. So there's nothing really differentiating kind of our heavy mechs from each other from a tonnage standpoint. I mean, obviously there's a border in there and there's a there's a title one way or the other, but tonnage wise, they're all pretty darn similar. Um, we don't have, you know, it's, it's, it's not the difference between say a rifleman and an Atlas, right? Everybody's more or less right there together, so. Um, but it just happens to be the mechs I found. Uh, I just decided as we go back, we just buy stuff as we found it. So, um, I guess I'll stop talking till we're on the planet. And like I said, this should be a straightforward battle, but we can't be too prepared going up against this superior technology, as we learned last time. All right, let's see what we get going on. So we can go swimming. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. Um, got some dudes up there. Um, can we move? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. I would like to move the. Good to go. Orders. Am I stuck on something? Oh, the stinking thing dropped me on the rock, so we can't actually move. This is an area you're not allowed to be, therefore, we can't go somewhere. That stinks. I hear ya. All right, let's all right, let's, let's just get up here in the trees. Made contact. Mad cat. Okay. Half skull. Let's keep everybody in 
Moving to position. The bubble that we can. What can I do for you? And the Raven's just gonna sit back here. Gotta love that. Gotta love the fact that the drop. This was a problem initially with this as well, was that it would drop you in places you couldn't go. Um, oh well, it is what it is. Uh, we just brace. All right, so we got him here. What do we got there? A 75 tonner there. All right. Standing by. Um, just sit there. Taking a protective stance. Seventy-one. All right, let's take a shot at the Mad Cat. Here we, go. we are going to rely on our ECM to hopefully keep us safe here for a second. Forty tonner, is that what it said? Okay. Aye, aye. Um, I am going to move into uh into the trees. No, I'm going to stay right where I'm at. I'm going to stay right where I'm at. I thought about it. Well, if we go here, that does get me vision. I don't want to go too far because I don't want them to be in the bubble too quickly. But I think... Okay, done a little bit of damage to him. Not much. Ouch, 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 ouch. So much for the ECM. Not, it didn't do anything. As far as I can tell, he didn't miss a single shot. Everything hit. Everything hit. There we go. He's unsteady. Maybe we can knock him down. Uh, something's coming over the hill. That crab is getting beat up. Okay, that was bad. Sorry about that, Jet. Commander. Got it. Move the battle master up. Let him take some heat here, and uh, hopefully let him take some hits here. But or give some hits here, I guess. Hey, we crit the AC5 over there. That's nice. But he did not go down yet. Um, right here. I'm there. Speaking of which, what is it? Uh, Dragonfly. Uh, lots of machine guns and flamers and a couple medium lasers. Okay. There we go. We missed with one, but we got the knockdown. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. God knows how many health he's got, but I mean, it doesn't hurt. Receiving you. Um, can I sensor lock somebody? Yes. We got one guy within sensor lock range of us. All right, here comes the uh, firefly, dragonfly, whatever it was. Yeah, our, our ECM wasn't doing anything already, so I don't know that that matters. Awaiting orders. Back the longbow up. On my way. And we just go CT, I think. All right, we, we crit a laser. He's panicked. Good, good, good. Uh, if I go to... Uh, gives us one... That's uh, not in the trees. No. We don't have any evasion, but we are in the trees. 33, 66. Come on, is that enough to... Yeah, there we go, and he ejected. Nice, nice. One down, one down. Good to go. Um, the crab. Where am I going to go with the crab? I might just... See, that's a side shot on him. It's obstructed, but... Let's see what that... Uh, oh, 18%. 
Yeah, yeah, we didn't we didn't hit anything there. Uh, I may need some more time in the simulator. Yeah, to be fair, you couldn't really see him over that rock right there. And like I said, this thing has no armor, so we're gonna have to dramatically I'm rethink this longbow. Damage. We may just have to go without it. Um, so Where'd another mad going? cat. Um, Battlemaster. Do we just continue to slide back? Is there any place I can get a shot on that dude that's worth having? Not really. I will slide here, more or less just to act as a screen. That will give us a shutdown. All right. So we don't need all these medium lasers. Let's just go with the big stuff here. Here we go. Hit with all of them. We don't need that guy coming in with his flamers when we have no, uh, if we're overheated. Okay, so now our M's. Our longbow is just gonna get Commander, destroyed. I'm hit. I lost a weapon. I mean, but it's us in it. And, and that's Not one of the lie. reasons why we did it that way. Um, because that means that, uh, I can't die. <laughs> I might be injured for another 120 days. Um, but... Here we go. All right. Um. Yeah, we'll sensor lock that little dude. I've got a sensor lock. Give him a little bit of, a little bit of his own medicine there. Ouch! There we go. Longbow's gone. All right. Well, we know that didn't work. Um, an 84% chance to do 95 damage to him. I think I'm going to take that. Putting my weight into it. Solid connection. Okay, we took off the medium lasers. That's not too bad, actually. I'm going to slide into the trees and into the ECM. Not that the ECM apparently does anything um, against them, but... You know, what the heck. And then we'll do a precise strike as well. Um, we'll just go CT. That gets us up to 61. Roger that. Hey, we hit all three of them. Nice. Okay. The mad cat rolling in. <sighs> Poor crab. Doesn't matter. ECM in the trees. A little bit of evasion. They don't miss. They do not miss. Can I? Hmm. I might shoot him. I haven't decided yet. I might go for the little guy. Those are pretty bad chances. Let's see, what do we got on the Mad Cat? Go Mad Cat. Can I throw a medium laser in there? Eh, let's we'll just stick with what we got. One miss. Thor. Okay. Ouch. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. That was a big hit. Big hit. Yes, I just realized. I'm sitting on the fusion reactor. Um, I don't want to get stuck there. I don't really have a lot of good places to go here. We're... We'll go here to get the one evasion. We can still make the turn to get the shot at the Mad Cat. Our heat's fine. I'm going to multi-target. We're gonna go B, B, B. Copy. Yeah, there we go, into the leg. And we got some solid hits out onto the, uh, out onto the Mad Cat. Standing by. Really good. Okay, and now we can actually shoot this dude. We can't run away, so, um... Are we gonna shoot him? 
Yeah, you know what? We are. We've got a tag. We've got everything else. We may as well. We'll go for the leg. I got you. Didn't do much. Commander? Can I get the crab? I can go this way. On my way. I don't think it's going to keep him safe. But, um... Yeah, we took that leg off. Nice. He's going to go down, too. Critical hit, Commander. Come on, buddy. You can start thinking about running away here if you like. Problem is, we've got a mad cat and a Thor out there. I'm here. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, that's the Thor there, huh? If I were to go here... I have decent chance, but... But then my back is to him. I go here. I think we'll be okay. Okay, he's out. We haven't done anything. We've done three damage to this guy. So do we have two mad cats out there? That really hurt. That really hurt. Receiving you. Yes, we have we have a mad cat prime and a mad cat A. Okay, that one is in kind of tough shape at the moment. But we did just lose a, a big gun. Let's show him the other side for a little while. Um, we go for that. Eight to sixty-three. I think we lost a PPC, but we'll go ahead and turn this on. on oh, is he shut down? Oh, I saw he was hot, but I didn't notice that he was shut down. But it did give us a called shot, and he is warm. Let's let's just see if we can. We didn't. We. I really wanted to take that shoulder off. Good to go. Um, sensor lock. Uh, is that guy in? Yes, just. Sensors locked on. Good to go. Hmm. I think if I go there, the other one can't see me. Right, Commander. Oh, we hit, but it wasn't enough. That's a critical He's hit. got 13 left. Battle mech power up detected. Well, maybe we can use a precise shot to finish him off. Commander. Coordinates. Yeah, there we go. Heavy damage. He's almost done. The Prime is just about out. That still leaves us a Thor and another Mad Cat, but... Headshot. My armor's getting oh, and it almost went, too. He's down to 10. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. Um... We've got the heat. Fairly. All right, he ejected. Okay. Nice. Things are slowly turning, coming up Millhouse. And we're going to just kind of rotate this way to get away from that Thor. Now, we don't really have any good shots here. I will say that heat's not been an issue in the awesome that it is in the Battlemaster. So maybe we need to... Uh, Maybe next time. Is he in? Yeah. Got a lock. Commander? Uh, you know what? Uh, 
We'll get as much evasion and hide in the trees as much as possible. We'll keep taking shots. Firing on target. But we'll, we'll do our best to protect the crab. We'll keep Jet out more or less out of the way. Nope. Went for it anyway. Okay, we might we might need to bail on this. Receiving you. Acknowledged. Oh, we didn't hit with crap that time. Did everything miss? 88%. But we have had pretty good hits so far. I can't really... Can't really complain too much. We just lost a double heat sink, though. Let's do this. Hitting out. Now we don't have the heat. There we go. Got a couple hits, though. Yes, Commander. If you say so. Affirmative. All right, we're into that torso. Maybe we can take out another shoulder here. Commander. Hit the sensor lock again. Waiting for orders. Um, I'm going to run away. We're not gonna. We're not gonna bail. Um, because I don't want to have to pay for the repair. But we are going to uh, hide down the cliff here. Oh, big, big, big hits on the Marauder. Another double heat sink destroyed. I'm getting my ass kicked. Yep. But we're still okay. We're still walking. And this guy is about, hopefully, to lose a, a shoulder. Oh, he's panicked. We lost a shoulder. That's a SLDF ER PPC gone. Uh, which we, we can't really replace any of this stuff is the problem. Um, okay. Yes, Commander. Move order received. Target locked in. He's panicked. Right here. The awesome is doing what it's supposed to be doing, though. There we go. There we go. That's most of his guns gone. And yeah, still panicked. And he's down to a uh, small laser, a PPC, and a streak. Um, put it on him this time. We'll put it on the Thor. Got a lock. Commander? Got it. I mean, we're essentially down two and a half at this point. Good to go. Oh, this... Trying to find if there's some place I could go where just one would see me. But I really want to finish that guy off. So I think... I can't get into the trees over there. I think we just shoot. I'm on it. Come on, buddy, bail. All right, we might have to run the Marauder away. Good to go. Um, Battlemaster's not in great shape either. I can go to here and get a... Looks like we can get a flanking shot on the Mad Cat. Of course, well, I mean... Here, we got another multi-target. Let's use it. Oh, no, we don't need a multi-target. What we need is just to hit him. <laughs> okay, so we can put that shot up there at 78s, which we do need. Um, I think we're going to have to, and then we'll... Oh, we got a headshot. Yes, Commander. 
And I think the awesome just has to kind of step up here and try to get the attention. See if we can finish off. Oh, it's only 46. There we go. There we go. He's gone. All right. Just the Thor left. The Raven actually, you know, has done more or less what we expected it to do. Um, it just had to do it from a little bit farther back than we expected. Waiting for orders. Good for now. Cooling down a bit. Ouch! All right, Marauder has to just run away. Maybe we can hide back here somewhere. Knock down, stress. No, we'll probably just bail. We'll just bail. Ah, you bastards. Um, so that is our right, so we want to just show him the left. Uh, we can't do it if we go there. Let's do that. Can we get a headshot? Can we? Probably not. Engaging with target. Um, I don't think we did. He's got nine left. Slide the awesome over. Keep his attention. The front of the Thor looks like the back of the Hunchback. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just, it's just not attractive. Can we, can we move? We'll kind of slide behind this rock here. Um, yeah. Another sensor lock. Sensors locked on. Resting my mech. I still got a shot. We go. On my way. This is this is a really bad idea. <sighs> um I don't remember how to bail. I don't remember how to eject. Um I it should just be down here is what it should be, but it's not. It's like an extra thing somewhere, right? I just don't, I don't see it. How do we eject? Can we not? Does the Marauder have a quirk that we can't eject out of it? Was it because I moved and now I can't do anything? I'm just gonna brace. I'm just gonna brace and pray we survive. Okay. Damn it. I've got an armor breach. I have to go deal with the cat now. Clan kitty cat. Let's go. All right. Yes, Commander. In the trees. Confirm. Let's slide up here. We have some extra heat. Do we throw a medium laser or two on there? Or three or four? With a precision shot at the head? We don't need a lot. I mean, he's got 25 hits left. One medium laser is all it takes. Commander. 
Come on, buddy. Get get stressed. Get out of there. Bail. You don't want to be here. Good to go. Oh wow! Actually, the crab could have a shot here. That's not good for the right crab. Commander. Survival, to be fair. But I guess if I'm going to lose either a crab or a marauder. Critical hit. Yes, commander. Yeah. Again, I don't see the eject button because I would really like to. Is it over here? That's resolve. I'm not looking for withdraw. We could just show him the back. Our right side's in better shape than our left side. So if we do this, maybe. Oh, is that the Gauss gone? Oh, he's still got a large pulse. Still got a large pulse. But he went after the Battlemaster. Okay. Standing by. Acknowledge. Left leg and down he goes. Scored a critical hit. And he ejected. Yes, we actually survived. We survived a half skull mission. <laughs> we lost a longbow, but uh, I'm not really all that worried about it, to be honest. It was kind of a crap mech. We would have been better off with an archer. And I looked at a couple archers. I did. But I thought, oh, it's a longbow. But yeah, they're just it has no armor on it. And if you put armor on it, you can't put LRM 20s on it. Right. So I'm only injured for 36 days. Nice. Um, 22 days for Crusher. Okay. Um, 12 days for Jet. All in all, I think we can live with that. Legitimately live with it, because we lived. Um, so the question is, now, because we only get one thing, we lost at least one ERPPC. So I think we have to take that um, to kind of get our mech back up, and then we just pray we get some something there. Um, but I don't think we can... I don't think... I think this is what we have to do to keep the mechs that we have functioning. We got, of course, we got a dragonfly piece, right? It was the only dragonfly piece there, whereas everything else, look, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six mad, mad cat pieces there, three A's, three C's, and three of the primes. But, but we got, we got a C, dragonfly. <laughs> oh, well, it's the way the cookie crumbles. We lived. That's all we care about. That's all we care about right now. Our uh, our upkeep was something like eight hundred and fifty thousand. Although I'm about to dump a a longbow, so it'll go down a little bit, but not much. Let's go ahead and take a look at the mech bay and see just how bad it is. So longbow, we already know we're going to get rid of. I'm I'm just going to. Um, the problem is you can't put it in storage without removing it. Um, let's take a look at it. Let's strip off whatever we want. Let's just strip equipment off of it. Confirm. And then when it's done there, we'll just scrap it. But let's just get what we want off of it. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. So now we'll just scrap it. All right. Oh, we lost the TTC. Of course we did. Of course we did. <sighs> okay, so PPCs. We got our Clan ER PPC. Um, we did keep the AC5, which is nice. We still got a range finder on it. Um, I'm going to go ahead, slide a double heat sink over there. Um, are there double heat sinks at the store, do you think? I don't think there was anything at the store. There wasn't there. How about the black market? Do you have some double heat sinks on the black market for us? A heat exchanger, but no, no uh, double heat sinks. All right, that's fine. And we don't, we don't have any, right? 
Oh, I do. I got one left. Um, I guess we put it there. So that should replace the two that we lost. Um, and I guess just the difference in, let's see, seven tons, six tons, but we lost the TTS. That weighed something. One ton. Did we lose three heat sinks? Oh, we lost three heat sinks. Okay. Um, I'm still not sure where the other weight is. One ton, two ton, three ton, 10 ton, 11 ton, which you replaced with seven. Yeah, I guess that's right. I guess that's right. We just lost heat sinks. Well, we lost stuff. It's okay. We'll top back up the armor. So now we got max armor. And, you know, we could put some medium lasers or something in there if we get something later. Um, but I think for now, we just go with that. I think that's fine. Two PPCs and the AC-5. Right. I'll get it in the skip. All right. And we lost a large pulse. That, that's horrible. That's, well, I mean, all of the losses are bad. But that one is not something we, we can put a large laser on. Um, I guess... Yeah, we got the tonnage for it. Um, and then armor. I think I'm actually going to take off two medium lasers, too, and then add a little bit more armor. There we go. We don't really have the heat to fire all of it anyway, so we'll go that way. Go that route. And the crab. Crab got rocked. Double heat sinks. Lots of double heat sinks and the large laser. Um, probably not going to see a lot of this thing going forward, but that's okay. Um, we do have a large laser we can put on. It's not... Clearly, it's not that. <laughs> um, damage 50. Damage 50. Um, range long. Range very long. So we lost a little bit of range, essentially, and we lost a lot of heat sinks. Um... That's really the biggest thing, but let's um let's try that. That's only two heat sinks. We need at least one more heat sink. There we go. I take off the small laser. Um We go down three and up two. There we go. All right. So that's that. So we lost a big mech. Um, but we didn't lose any pilots. Everything is more or less repairable. Although we don't have a lot of it. Um, but within a reasonable amount of time, even. Um... You know, within seven days, we'll have everything but the crab and the commander back. So I think we go ahead. Well, let's let's just kick over those seven days real fast. Oh, hold on. During the daily briefing, Dr. Murad raises a hand. There'll be a rare meteor shower on Leskovic. I thought I'd boost our spirit. We viewed the phenomena from up close in the observation desk. Sounds risky. It's not like the Argo has brakes. Well, how about we install a telescopic camera on the hall? Hunchy volunteered to mount it. Hunchy's the alcoholic. Maybe it'd be safe to take the leopard down to Leskovic's service and view the pretty lights from a safe distance, Yang Beams. Hell, I'll even cook. Uh, I think we're going to view it from the observation deck. Yeah, there we go. No guts, no glory. You consider Yang and shake your head. Let's stick to the observation deck. Crew members and mech warriors huddle on the observation deck. Bottles clink and bets are placed. Once the first star zaps across the sky, they cheer. But soon the crowd quiets. The company looks on in awe as a hundred points of light stream through the darkness. The comets flare up as they enter the atmosphere in Leskovic, leaving a radiant but brief trail. Shouldn't have doubted you, Yang whispers to Dr. Murad. Then he raises his voice to the crowd. How about I break out my special stash of triple F burgers? Another cheer goes up. Music plays over the comm system. Eventually, Yang even sort of dances. You find Dr. Murad on the opposite end of the festivities and think her. With a fork and a knife, she slices a grilled PB&J into neat squares. It's good to remember that space is more than just deadly anomalies and bleak emptiness. To be fair, that is kind of a deadly anomaly. Just a pretty one. All right. Let's hit continue. Um, 
Oh, actually, it's going to... Why is it not ordering stuff in the right way? Right? It's not just me. Two days, five days, seven days, ten days, twelve days, two days, seventeen days, seventeen days, thirty-one days. <laughs> we'll do that off camera. We survived the clans! Let's just call victory and go home right now. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers.